Hello everybody, I'm back. It was been a while. I've been studying. Uh, I'm done studying, and that is uh, fantastic. So today I have a, a day uh, doing nothing except making this video, tying a new fly on this hook. Uh, it's a five-o hook, uh, old sprites back in the good days. Um, today's pattern is gonna be Sir Richard from uh, the price tenant uh, book however i'm gonna slightly modify the pattern a bit um nothing big but yeah my touch on it um so yeah let's begin the video okay so let's start the fly so i'm gonna touch the thread um, to the hook just back to it a little bit there we go so going backwards and then we're gonna start with oval silver tinsel I use Weaver's extra small Here it is. So adding that one. Just securing it underneath the hook. Cutting the leftovers. wraps then with the tinsel I'm gonna take four turns and then tying in the tinsel securing it forward Cutting off the leftovers. I can reuse that one for the next fly. So, dark orange floss. We got it here. Might have too much light on actually. Hmm. Let me see what happens. Ah, let's, let's continue. So orange flows. Tying it in. Now it's secure. So I need to have my gloves, otherwise, I ruin the 
silk little bit too much light on I'm gonna arrange that later There we are, so going backwards with the thread. And then tying in the silk. So I'm gonna take a short break here arrange the light thing so, so the light are proper it's too much now uh, just to be, make a better video quality for you guys I'll be back and I think we have a little bit nicer lights um, so let's continue with the fly so what I need to do it's is to add the tail I prepared one here before. And the tail is on in a good position. And uh, I'm going to add some wax. Oop, almost got wax in my eye. <laughs> so we need to have. Indian Crow, in this case I'm using a substitute. And let me see, going backwards. Dog is here as well. Come on, leg down. Oh. Trying to find uh, somewhere to lie down, but you don't have a bed down here, so he's not that happy. I'm not happy with the placement, so let me reset that one. It turned a bit, I noticed. So let's reset it.
I'm happy or pleased. So next step, uh, ostrich herd, uh, black. So I'm just going to place the thread where I want it. There we are. Herd. Turns. And there it's secured. So next step uh, would be a uh, tin cell. And this pattern I'm gonna have a twist and a silver flat. So start with the twist. I have any here? There. Actually I'm gonna start with a flat one. Touching the flat tinsel first. Stop before he starts. So, prepare the oval silver tinsel. Also, men mention twist. There it is. So I'm gonna have a look in the book again. Like cackle. That's cool. So 
black cat food. We're gonna use a bit longer hackle in this fly. That's the hackle. So I'm just gonna uh, double the, the hackle. Real quick. So there we are. So I'm tying in the hacker. And just pulling out a few fibers that got stuck stuck there and I see I need to even up the the body of the fly so I'm gonna use a dark uh, silk underneath in this case gold start to build up underneath So, cutting off the silk. Okay, so let's then uh, look for the black silk. That's black. Perfect.
so attaching the silk to the thread there we are just gonna cut the leftovers and put on the gloves on the silk now I can remove the gloves So first of all, the flat silver tinsel. There it is attached. Then it's time for the oval tinsel. And there it is in place as well. So I'm just going to cut the leftovers.
Max the thread a little bit. Now it's time for the hackle. So I'm gently folding it backwards. I think, let me see, front tackle, so I'm gonna stop there. Get the leftover. It's gonna be mute my phone, otherwise it's gonna be noisy as hell. Then we're gonna have Speckle Galina from Tackle. But we're gonna use uh, another bird actually. I'm just gonna find the right one. And there we are. So Kepper Kallier from Tackle, as I always do. Well, not always, but most of the time. So let me find one in a good decent size. Let me see what we can do with that one. A bit wax on the thread. Holding in the feather backwards, as always. So, let me see. I think like two wraps or something should be sufficient. But let me have a look. 
That might take three actually. Better off. There you see, nice profile, nice length of the feather. Time to start with the wing. I already built the wing, of course, to save some time. And this wing should normally be mixed, uh, but uh, I do it married, so that's going to be a challenge. <laughs> Since uh, yeah, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use a middle wing or not, but I might actually do that. Take a bit of peacock. And just add the middle wing. It's not according to the pattern, so but, but that's how I would like to do it. There it is. So yes, we are pulling down uh, the haggle on the side. I don't want it to. Uh, interfere with the, with the wing that I'm gonna add. And 
the same on this side. I'm just cooling it down a bit. It's nice uh, as it is. Relaxing the thread a bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of varnish and let it dry for a while before I add the, the real wing. I'm gonna give it a try to attach the wing. Hopefully it uh, goes well, you never know. This is the one I did the other day. Work a little bit with the with the wing. Set to higher.
And there we are. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, varnish. Then uh, I'm starting with the, the sides and the topping. So let's add a little bit of the sides. In this case, it's gonna be um, <coughs> a Galena wing over. So. There we have that. Well, not that easy to get it where I want, but we got all day. No problem. Well, now it's much better. So, just yes, little bit varnish and then I turn the fly so you can see the result there it is so on top of that we should have uh, uh, blue shatter, but uh, I'm gonna use a substitute there as well. Uh, I'm gonna use... Uh, 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 I forgot the name of the bird, my god. Pitta. So I just need to locate uh, some feathers. So I'm gonna just uh, pause for a little bit and pick out the right feathers and then continue the video. So let's uh, uh, add the sides then, uh, in this case as I mentioned uh, Pitta, uh, what, that's what I'm using. But if you got a pile of shatter or kingfish or whatever, you can use that. So I'm just preparing the feathers. Quite large ones. There we are. And same on my side. I need to play around with the wing a bit more.
So next step is topping. Um, of course I need to varnish, cut everything in the front and then um, find a nice topping for the fly. However, I can start to see if I have one decent, decent size. This one is too long, most likely. Yeah. Have a nice one. Maybe flies, maybe. Yeah. That's going to be our topping. Yep. So I'm gonna prepare that one. Um, cut all the leftovers in front uh, of uh, the fly, uh, varnish, and then we add the topping and the horns, and then and the fly is ready. Okay, so now uh, it's time for to do the final step. So adding uh, the topping and also the horns on the side. So I have vexed the thread and prepared the topping. So let's see how it will sit. That looks pretty good to me. There you see the position. So, yes, going to add a few turns of thread to it. And then it's time for the worms. Starting on my side. Oh, I need some more bags first. So, mixing the thread. Just going to verify the position again. Looking good. Number one in place. So let's take the other one.
Now I have them perfect in line. So just a bit of varnish. There you see both horns in place. So I'm just gonna finish off the head and uh, varnish a few times and uh, yeah, then they fly basically is done. So Quite long video, I think, but uh, I, hopefully I cut it down uh, short enough for you guys. Uh, so that, that's how I do the variation of Sir Richard. Um, overall, I think uh, it looks quite nice, as you see over there. Um, I hope you uh, really gonna enjoy the video, and if you have any request of me tying something, uh, just uh, add a few comments. Um, I think tomorrow I'm gonna start. Uh, skissing on them um, I'm not sure if that, that's the right word but, but I, I, I'm gonna draw um, the fly um, I think it's time to to come up with uh, something on my own I have one already but uh, you can't have too many rights so I'm gonna use a few interesting feathers and uh, try to create something funny and then uh, uh, tie one for a try and then uh, make a video of it so hopefully uh, that's gonna arrive later next week and yeah thank you for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe hit the thumbs up you can share the video and why, why don't you tie this fly yourself if you have the material for it okay thank you bye